What do women really want when it comes to size? You can't scroll far on social media or sit through a casual dinner conversation without hearing someone make a joke about it. Some men brag, some women roll their eyes, some people whisper about ideal measurements like it's the holy grail of intimacy. But let me ask you something, is any of that true? I'm Dr. Narita. I'm a board-certified urologist, and for the past 12 years, I've been working with men and couples who carry this exact worry. And today, I'm going to give you the truth. Not locker room myths, not what you hear in movies, but real science on what women actually prefer. And I'll tell you this upfront, the findings will probably surprise you. Now, before we dive in, do me a quick favor. Tap that like button, and in the comments, tell me, where are you watching from today? I love seeing the community we're building here, and it helps more men find the information they desperately need, but are often too embarrassed to ask about. All right, let's get into it. Here's the myth. Bigger is always better. That single phrase has haunted men for decades. It's fueled industries, insecurities, even relationships falling apart. But here's the truth. Science tells a very different story. When researchers actually studied women's private preferences, not what they said in a survey when they felt pressure to give a socially correct answer, but what they chose when no one was watching, the results pointed overwhelmingly in one direction. Most women prefer average. Yes, average, not enormous, not extreme, average. That's not my opinion. That's what the data shows across multiple clever studies. And this is where things get fascinating. And because those studies didn't just look at what women say, they looked at what women actually buy when given the freedom to choose. Let me walk you through this like I would if you were sitting in my office worried about this topic. I've been practicing urology for over a decade and I've had hundreds of men, young, middle-aged, and especially men over 50, ask me the same anxious question, am I enough? I always tell them, let's look at the facts, not the fears. And the facts come from research, studies that analyzed millions of dollars worth of purchases, best-selling products, and women's anonymous choices. These studies remove the bravado, the pressure, the performing for the crowd answers, and they give us insight into reality. And reality is so much more reassuring than the myths. Let's break this down into five powerful truths, each one dismantling a common mistake men make when thinking about size. One, mistake one, believing women want extremes. Most men assume women dream about 10, 11, or 12 inches, but when researchers looked at best-selling sex toys across eight major distributors, do you know what they found? The most popular lengths ranged from four to six inches. Let me repeat that, four to six inches. That's not extreme, that's average. And when they looked at the girth, the circumference, it was also in the normal range, usually less than 4.5 inches. Think about what that means. When women make completely private choices without judgment, the majority lean toward average sizes. Biology, why? Because a woman's vaginal canal isn't designed to accommodate extremes comfortably. The average depth is about three to six inches when relaxed, and it only expands modestly with arousal. Going way beyond that isn't pleasurable, it's painful. Emotion. Comfort creates trust. If a woman feels safe physically, she can surrender emotionally. If she feels pain or pressure, her guard goes up. Practicality. This means if you fall in the normal range, which 90% of men do, you are more than capable of giving her what she needs. Two, mistake two, thinking length matters more than fit. Another study analyzed best-selling realistic dildos on Amazon and top US retailers. The average length, about 6.5 inches, slightly above average, but not by much. But here's the interesting part. Researchers found that circumference and comfort mattered more than length. Biology, too much girth can actually create tearing or discomfort. Women's bodies are sensitive and their arousal relies on relaxation of the pelvic floor, not force. Emotion. When the fit is comfortable, she's more present. She's not worried about pain. She's not distracted. That means she can focus on the connection with you. Practicality. What does this mean for you? It means focusing on rhythm, communication, and reading her signals matters 10 times more than worrying about inches. Three, mistake. Three, comparing yourself to media fantasies. The adult industry thrives on exaggeration. Giant sizes, unrealistic expectations, none of which reflect daily reality. Yet men compare themselves to that fantasy. 
Biology. The truth? Most men fall between 5 to 6 inches in length when erect and 4.5 to 5 inches in girth. That's the scientifically established average. Emotion. When you believe you're not enough, it chips away at your confidence. And confidence, not inches, is the number one driver of satisfaction for both partners. Practicality. Stop measuring yourself against an industry designed to manipulate your insecurities. Real women want connection, not camera angles. Four, mistake. Four, ignoring women's real feedback. Here's something revealing. In surveys, women will sometimes give exaggerated answers because they think it's expected. But when researchers analyzed behavior, the story changed. Women overwhelmingly chose toys that were average in length, comfortable in girth, and affordable. Biology. This shows us women aren't chasing extremes. Their bodies respond best to what feels safe and pleasurable, not painful. Emotion. Think about it. If she's choosing something for herself, something private, personal, and intimate, and she consistently chooses average, doesn't that tell you something? Practicality. If you're already average, you're already what most women are privately choosing. Five, mistake. Five, forgetting what really creates satisfaction. Here's the biggest mistake of all. Believing size equals satisfaction. It doesn't. Biology. Women's pleasure is far more influenced by clitoral stimulation, emotional bonding, and relaxation than by size. Emotion. What makes a woman feel truly connected isn't measurement. It's whether she feels seen, desired, and respected. Practicality. That means your focus should shift away from obsessing about inches and toward building communication, presence, and patience. So what can you do with this information? Here are three practical steps. Stop comparing. Understand that the vast majority of men are average, and that's exactly what most women want. Focus on confidence. Confidence isn't arrogance. It's comfort in your own skin. Women sense that instantly, build connection, learn to read her signals, communicate openly, and prioritize her comfort and trust. When you do those three things, you'll never again ask, am I enough? Because you'll know you are. I know this topic can feel heavy. Maybe you've spent years carrying this insecurity. Maybe you've avoided intimacy because you were afraid of being judged. But I want you to hear this. You are not broken. You are not less. You are enough. Age doesn't take that away from you. In fact, men over 50 often have an incredible advantage, patience, wisdom, and the ability to slow down. And that's what women crave more than measurements. So the next time you catch yourself wondering about inches, remember this. Science shows most women prefer exactly what you already are. It's not about chasing extremes, it's about showing up fully. And if you found this reassuring, hit that like button, subscribe to Dr. Narita Shower Men's Health, and share this video with a friend who might need to hear it. Because here's the truth. Intimacy isn't about numbers. It's about presence, connection, and confidence. And those are things every man at every age can build. I'm Dr. Narita. Thank you for spending this time with me. And remember, small changes, the right knowledge, and the right mindset can bring you comfort, freedom, and confidence, no matter your age.